Hello and welcome to another fanpub.com uh, video. I've got Sean with me. We're talking about the uh, the Pittsburgh wide receivers. We've lost Martavis Bryant. Um, obviously, Brown's going to be the number one target. What are your thoughts on the uh, other wide receivers, Sean? Well, obviously, the consensus number Brown is going to be the number one pick on most people's draft boards. You know, uh, if you haven't seen our video on it, check out who we think is going to be the number one over Brown this year. Who's going to end up with the most fantasy points? That'd be good to see. But for the the second position, it's very difficult because Marcus Wheaton had his opportunity last year. And I think he was pretty flat. I had him in a couple of teams. I was very disappointed. Average, wasn't he? Very disappointed. Yeah, underwhelming. He, he didn't even produce what I would call plodding fantasy numbers. At times, it was it was anemic. Um, and in an offence that's high-powered with a great opportunity, there's no Bryant for the first four weeks, he fully under-delivered. When Bryant came back, Bryant was the star there, the second star. Um, so I think the way it's going to shake out, it's fairly simple, actually. I think Heath, Heath Miller's going to get the second, you know, the second highest well, workload. Well, Heath Miller's gone. Oh, sorry. Ladaris yes. Green. Ladaris Green, I do apologise. Ladaris Green is going to get the... Is, is why he's being hyped in a lot of fantasy circles. I think he's going to end up with the second uh, highest amount of targets early in the season but the player you've got to watch for the player that's going to come through and I think and establish himself this year is Sammy Coates and I really like his opportunity there in Pittsburgh um, I like him a lot but you've got to get him at the right value he's going late in draft boards look at his ADP that's a fair ADP right now um, and that's the guy that I'd be looking to target I've got a really good feeling about Sammy Coates I like the opportunity and he's got the whole year to shine and I think he's going to be very good I heard good things about his off season um, and how he's working alongside the first team what he's done in regards working alongside uh, Ben Roffensperger. There's some great things to think that Sammy Coates is taking his job incredibly seriously, and I think he wants that number two spot, and I think he'll get it. And when you've got two other underwhelming choices, like, um, you know, you've got Darius Hayward Bay. Nothing as well. needs to be said. No, it's like, as you <laughs> rightly said before, it's the Ted Ginn of Pittsburgh. <laughs> Nothing needs to be said. But with, but with less opportunity, probably. Yeah, more than likely. Okay, so, um, you know, what are your thoughts? Uh, please leave your comments in the comments section. Um, please leave a like on the video if you're still watching and uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, there's a few other situations we're talking about, so uh, please check them out.